Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here, and I appreciate each and every one of you. So in the past, what we've done with Synology backups is, is we've done the uh, hyper backup where we backed up a Synology to a Synology. And we're going to do more Active Directory videos, and I've got some other hardware videos that I'm going to try to get out this weekend, no promises. Uh, but I wanted to show you this because Synology has updated their backup software, and you can do so many things with it. I've got clients who are backing up Linux servers from the cloud, so we're backing up like our Unify files from our cloud server out at uh, DigitalOcean to on-site. We're backing up Windows servers. I use this every day to provide all kinds of critical protection for servers. I've got people doing bare metal backups. So what is a bare metal backup? It's when you have an agent on a machine and it literally creates an image that sits on the NAS so that if you're, something happens with your hardware, we can actually restore the entire image to the machine and you can be back up and running in just a few minutes. So they, I can't even say enough about this software. We're going to go install it. We're going to talk about it and we're going to get a bare metal backup going. And this you know, talking about this software, we're going to have to do this in a few videos because I'm going to have to set up a Windows server and all kinds of stuff so we can look at all the options because it's absolutely fantastic. And like I said, I use this every day to provide data assurance and data integrity, things like that, everything that comes along with a backup and disaster recovery. And so I'm not just showing you this. I eat my own, you know, we're dog food in here. That's what, you know, we call it, eating your own dog food. So but I love this product so much and I have so much confidence in it that I wanted to I wanted to show this to you. So we're over at our Synology. We're going to go to Package Center. We're going to select the drop down here and we are going to go to Backup. And then we are going to install Active Backup for Business. That's the package you want to install. And this piece of software it is fantastic. We can back up. It will connect and manage. Uh, well, it won't manage, but it can connect to VMware vSphere so that you can back up virtual machines. It can back up physical servers. It can back up physical PCs, and then it can do the the file level. And not only can it connect to Windows, but if you're doing the file level, you can connect to Linux, and you could also connect to Mac. So you just have to make sure you have rsync on those uh, remote machines if they're Linux or Mac and everything works fine. That's how we're backing up our Unify configurations automatically from DigitalOcean to a physical piece of hardware that we own. So um, you are really, really going to like the software and Synology could charge a lot of uh, money for this. Um, and I think people would pay it. I would definitely pay for a license if they charge for it just because it works. I've been configuring this since it's, it was been released, we were running it in beta, and it's just an absolutely wonderful piece of software. So let's go ahead and open it. And the first thing you're going to do is you're going to activate it. So to activate the software, you're going to come over here to this page that it opens. You're going to read the privacy statement. You'll accept the privacy statement. Once you activate the software, once you activate the software, you'll get this package activated. You'll click OK. Now we can use the software. Check this out. So here's our dashboard. You can see we've got protected devices here. We've got backup calendar over here, last backup time, ongoing activities. So here would be all of the PCs that we are doing bare metal backups. This would be all the bare metal backups for the physical servers. Here would be all of our file servers, and we're going to get to all of these. Virtual machine. Manage VMware vSphere so you can plug into vSphere and backup VMs. Storage will be available once we have a backup task. We've got restore status, activities, so this is all of your reporting, and then we've got settings. So right now for bare metal, there's not a physical server, so when we get to that, we will create that template. Right now we're going to roll with the PC template because we are going to backup a PC. So here... Uh, and we're going to do a bare metal backup. I'm going to click Add Device. It's going to come up. It's going to tell us that on the Windows machine, we need to download the installer. And they provide a link to a 32-bit and a 64-bit. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to click... Actually, let's take a look at the template. Let's see what our template options are here. So we'll bring up the PC template. And our destination, so our, our source type is bare metal. 
It's going to enable compression and encryption, and the destination is backup for business. I actually have a backup folder that I want to backup to. Schedule. So we can change it. We can do a manual or we can do schedule. We can also, if this is a laptop or a machine, well, it would be a laptop that isn't always connected to the server, you can make it so it backs up instantly after the client connects to the server. So that's kind of nice. We'll go ahead and select that. And then we can do uh, manual backup or we can do schedule. For this purpose, we'll kick off, uh, we'll do a manual backup. Retention, we'll keep all the versions. And then administrators, which I am, we already have access to that. So over here on our Windows machine that we've been working with, I've got that 64-bit client. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to run through this install. And this is going to take a few minutes, so we'll be back. All right, so it looks like our application is done installing, so we're going to go ahead and launch it. You can see it put an icon here on the desktop. All right, so it's going to want a server address. So if you've got a fully qualified domain name or an FQDN set up, you could use that here. You can also use an IP address. I don't know if it'll work with a Quick Connect. I've never tried that, so I am just going to... Um, type in the IP address of the Synology and I'm going to put in a username and password and I'm going to connect and it should go out connect to the server then give us a status screen that shows us all the information and here is that status screen so here's the username the template where we're going to back up to and what what kind of device it is so we're going to click OK going to connect to the server and if you remember we told it to automatically back up as soon as it's connected so you can see we've got this thing backing up so we'll do uh, view backup status so you can see oh, up here we got a message saying that we've been connected and right now we are backing up. We were at 32 megabytes a second. It's bouncing around, so it's reading the drive, and you can see a log of absolutely everything that it's doing right here. So we'll hop over to our portal here. And under PC, now you can see my device name. You can see the IP. We've got this task list. It shows us everything where it's going. And we can uh, update the agent if we make changes. Here we can create recovery media. So we're going to get into that. We can open the restore portal. Notice it doesn't show up under physical server. That's because we haven't, we're not doing a server and we don't have a template that yet links to a server. So if you have physical machines and now you can see right here that we have one PC. You can see that we are backing up this machine. We can come back in here. We can also come back over here. You can see that out of the 23 gigs, we're at 2 gigs. So this is going to take a little while. So let's open this restore portal while we're waiting for that. So I've got the portal open here in my main browser and this machine's busy backing up so I didn't really want to burden it too much but I think I'm gonna pause this and I'm gonna let this back up and then we're gonna take a look at this portal and see what shows up in the portal so we'll be back while we're uh, waiting for that I did go over here to the storage uh, area and you can see that it shows our backup folder it shows the running task it shows our global dedupe ratio so deduplicating files and then device count so we've got that there under activities you can see we've got the log files here we don't have any task history or any reports yet but things are uh, hopping you know right along so as soon as this backup is done uh, we'll be back to take a look at this okay so our backup is complete and you can see here's the the log file and it looks like we started 57 so it took less than 15 minutes 
and we'll hop back over here to the server. You can see that that's down there. Storage dedupe was uh, 1.77. So our original backup was 24.7 gigs, and the size after dedupe is 14 gigs. So that's fantastic. So activities, you can see all the history here. We'll have some reports starting to build. So now let's go back to our active backup portal. And now, not only can we do a bare metal restore, but now we can actually dig down into that machine and get into uh, these folders and, and back up and restore actual files. So not only can we do a full bare metal um, restore, but we can also we can also then drill down into this and back up individual files. How awesome is that? And anytime a file has changed, you know, we're going to have, you know, different versions and things like that. So if we go to this restore, this is the restore portal where we're at here. And then here we can create recovery media. So to, re to restore the entire device, it, there's a uh, recovery media is required. So there's this PDF, this entire PDF. So this is going to come in another video. But I mean, this comes with your Synology. If you are looking for backup assurance, it doesn't get any better than this. It comes in the interface. It's free. It does all these different things. So we're going to keep playing with this and we're going to do different types of backups. I will begrudgingly reload ESXi and vSphere so you can see that as well. But that's it for this video. If you like the video, please give me a thumbs up and uh, make sure you hit the subscribe button. That way when we're pushing out videos, you are notified of that or hit the little, I'm sorry, the little bell icon. But uh, please subscribe, please comment, please share, please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, for networking, voice over IP, or information security, any of those things, or if you've got some wild idea and you need some consulting, if you know you go over to willyhow.com, fill out that contact form. If we can't help you, we'll get you to a vendor who can. If you want to talk to us on Discord, the link is down below. If you want to support us on Patreon, I want to thank all my patrons right now. Uh, the link for that is down below. And if you don't want to buy any of this awesome gear that you see here on the channel, our Amazon links are down below. Once again, I want to thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.